I just love that feeling that I'm in control and the more I do, the better I get at it. Trimming her work ever so gently, Clay begins to peel away. Sculpting the beautiful bowl, the piece of art becomes more defined. I can make something that's really real, that somebody is going to be able to use every day and be reminded of the time that we spent together. Marianne Collishaw hadn't worked with Clay since she was 14, but years later her move to Whistler connected her with the wheel once again. She discovered the Whistler Pottery Club, a group of local artists, beginners and professionals who meet once a week to help perfect their craft together. So I love that. And I got to meet a potter and, and find a whole community through pottery. And now as I look more at different pottery clubs, from around the world and I'm looking at their websites and I see it's in fact it's all about community. There we go. Okay. Like the opening of a kiln, joining her new community brought added color to her life. Carefully removing pottery from the recently fired kiln, the support never stops. Admiring pieces and their magical colors, finished products often differ from when they went in, but it's what they look like when they come out that keeps the conversation going. It generates a lot of conversation for people who like to do it and they end up liking to learn new techniques and talk about the techniques they're using and that's often why they get together. Now their support is spreading beyond their small club and into the community. Many of these finished bowls will be used to raise money through an empty bowls fundraiser, benefiting those who need a helping hand. The bowls are sold as part of the ticket price, so people come in, they select the bowl that catches their eye and they have a dinner of soup and they then take the bowl home with them. When you fill your selected bowl with soup from one of the restaurants participating at the event, you'll be filling several other bowls in homes from Squamish to Pemberton as 100% of the proceeds will help stock shelves at food banks in the Sea to Sky Corridor. I think as potters we often produce functional wares. That's often what motivates us is creating things that people will use and pick up and admire but also take into their homes and eat with and um, display things in. So uh, the empty bowls just really spoke to us. While the event will help bring the greater community together, it's also helping these artists find a new meaning to a process they already love. It's taking our club to a whole new level because we're working towards a common goal. Here we always are doing our own thing and this one is really all of us. From Whistler, I'm Heather Butts for Shaw TV.